So for today's Autodesk Revit tip, I will show you that if you were to model this wall incorrectly in terms of its height, it will affect your reinforced concrete beams quantity takeoff volume over here. So for this small exercise file, all the beams are 300 by 600 millimeters. And I've opened up a structural framing schedule over here. And you can see that all the beams are of the same family type but only one of them has a significantly smaller volume value. And that's because this wall right here is inside this beam and it's taking up the majority of this reinforced concrete beam's volume. So if I were to adjust the height of this wall such that the top of this wall is at the bottom of this beam, you will now see that the volume is the correct volume of 0.82 cubic meters over here. And that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tip. And subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials and Revit tips like this video. See you next time.